So it is December 29th. Tomorrow I gotta be back in West LA. I really don't want to get back in my car. Um, but um, there's a couple things I wanted to share about my trip to San Francisco. One of them was while my granddaughter was working, I took a ride to Treasure Island. And um, in 1985, I went on um, an at Nutra there with the Navy Reserves. Um, I had re-enlisted, I was active duty and then uh, re-enlisted in 19, got out re-enlisted in 1984 into the Navy Reserves um, a few weeks after my son, my second son was born. And um, well, their first act Dutra that they sent me to was uh, Treasure Island. And it was a beautiful little island um, at the time. They did a lot of uh, training on that base um, in 1985 and uh, I was in communications and, and it, what I did there was a non-classified version. We did some training and, and things like that for two weeks and got to go see a little bit of San Francisco. Um, I can't find all my pictures from San Francisco. We went to Alcatraz. There was a bunch of us uh, from the Pittsburgh Reserve uh, Unit that went to um, that went to uh, San Francisco together, and um, we didn't spend a lot of time out on the economy. I know I didn't really go in too much until um, after my Act Dutra, and I got my per diem and stuff and uh, travel pay, and then I went into Chinatown and bought some things for my kids. Um, so, but anyway, I, I was, I, 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 so I made this trip to Treasure Island and for some reason I did compute that it's no longer a, a base of any kind, not military, Coast Guard, you know, well, Coast Guard's military, but it's Coast Guard isn't even there as far as I know. Like you can just drive on and there's a lot of construction, a lot of buildings have been torn down. And I don't have too many. I couldn't find all of my photos from there, but I found a few. And I just want to show those few side by side if there's anything to compare them to or if I have any pictures of like the barracks that I was in. I'm going to show those pictures that I have of the barracks. I only have a couple and what they looked like right before they were torn down. Um, so there's some aerial videos, but it, it, you know, it was really kind of heartbreaking, but I'll show those and, and then tell you a little bit more about Treasure Island. So, <clears throat> um, the first picture was taken in 1985. I hope it comes out clear. I'm going to try to save this on a higher pixel, um, whatever. But that's the sign of the Naval uh, Station Treasure Island as we came in. And today, you just see, it just says, Welcome to Treasure Island, and it's just like a a cloth plastic thing hanging up and there's a lot of construction. Then you see my picture of the star barracks. That's where I stayed. And then the very next picture is how those star bar barracks looked in 2014 after the base was, um, you know, they, they forced all military off and turned it back over to uh, the city. And so they just 
you know, they kept the barracks up. They were, they were going to put homeless in the barracks, but evidently um, the barracks were not uh, up to standards by the city, and therefore they could not house uh, homeless in them. That's what that's what I was told. I asked around. And um, so there they were in 2014, and then I showed a photo of a sort of an overview. I think somebody must have had a, you know, uh, well, what are those things called? Anyway, so there's an overview. The Star Barracks were, were awesome. There was, you know, they overlooked the water. They were close to the entrance. and But anyway, they were great barracks. And then the next picture is the demo. And um, now I have a couple pictures from my room in the barracks. Not great photos. I was using a little 110, but um, I'll show those. And um, I, I, I didn't take pictures like from my view from the window. I don't think I had one. I think my barracks room was actually facing the inside. There was like a circular corridor. And uh, so I think my room was facing, my window was facing, it must have been facing in the back because I didn't take any pictures from the, from the view from the window. Then one one thing I remembered about my time there was this long wood pier that went out over the bay and you had you could go out and there was a beautiful view of San Francisco, Treasure Island, um, the bay. It was really, really pretty. And so this next picture is a picture that I took standing on that uh, that pier. I specifically went looking for that pier and I'm driving around you can't just drive on and go straight anymore there's all that construction and I I'm, I'm gonna later in a separate post just collectively put all my videos together because I can't get my videos to work in this Windows Movie Maker thing but so I specifically look for that pier I have memories of that pier I had Shore Patrol chase me down on that pier um, and come at me with flashlights and stuff and try to blind me for what? I, because I was just standing on the pier and they got mad and they were like, you're not allowed to be on this pier and they're coming towards me on the pier. And I said, well, then you're not allowed on the pier. I said, what are you doing on the pier? Um, and I was with a couple of people that came with me from Pittsburgh and they started laughing and they were like, shut up, Heather, you're going to get us in trouble. We don't need to go to the break. We don't, you know, we just doing our two weeks and we want to go home. So um, it, it was a real funny memory. And um, so the, 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 the pier is dilapidated. The pier still survives, but it is not, you can't go on it. And there's like, the ground has been dug up like all around it on either side of it. The base is mostly unrecognizable from anything that I, I can remember. The barracks were ripped down and um, there's a few other things uh, still there. Uh, and I'm going to show the pictures after I, uh, after I explain more about the base itself. And, um, but I'm going to show you a picture of the, what I could get of the pier, what it looks like now. So that's it. I was glad that it's, it's still there anyway, that the pier is still there. Um, but the island itself, from what I understand, is a man-made island, and it's got a really interesting history. The military acquired it during World War II. Um, they sort of forcefully took the island. It was, it was um, used initially uh, for the World's Fair. Um, and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, it was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the what what we can see of the the World's Fair. 
Um, I'm going to look that up real good, real quick, because I, I want to get the dates right. Yeah, the, the uh, Job Corps is on there now. They they have housing on that island right now. There's uh, some pretty good looking housing. And then, um, and then there's some other houses that were, I don't even know if they're still standing. I didn't look, but I drove all the way around the base and, you know, back where, and I'll, but I'll talk more about that. The island is named after the novel Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson who lived in San Francisco from 1879 to 1880. Treasure Island is entirely within the city and county of San Francisco, whose territory extends far into San Francisco Bay and to the tip of the island of Alameda. Um, uh, there's really not a whole lot to see unless you go to see the, the vista, and there's some great uh, shots that over you know that you can google and see that it's um okay um prior to the island's construction by the united states government yerba buena shoals a rock north of the trans bay island had less than 27 feet clearance and were a shipping hazard um and then you can look this up. It goes on and talks about like the specifics of, of how, what they did. On February 18, 1939, the Magic Isle, is what they called it, opened with a walled city of several fairground courts, a central court of honor, a court of the east, a port of trade winds on the south and on the north, a court of Pacifica, uh, a 12,000 car parking lot in the adjacent uh, national building. The 1.5 million federal building, the Hall of Western States, the 800,000 administration building, which is still there, various exhibit halls, on and on and on. Um, post exposition was supposed to be used by Pan Am flying boats, uh, such as the the uh, China Clipper, uh, and then. in the Marks versus field at the circus reads here is Grover okay and then it became Naval Station Treasure Island and I th think they changed the name a couple of times for the for the military it began in uh, 1941 was leased as a United States Navy reception center um, on April 17 1942 the US Navy cut short an ownership dispute with the city by seizing the island they basically forcefully just took it um, the Navy eventually compensated the city with $10 million in improvements to the existing airport and blah, blah, blah. Uh, had an auxiliary naval air facility to support helicopters, fixed wings, um, so on and so forth. Uh, during World War II, over 12,000 men a day were processed here for Pacific area assignments, and thousands more were processed for separation in the aftermath of the war. The psychiatric ward of the naval base at Treasure Island was used to study and experiment on naval sailors who were being discharged for being homosexual. There's that. Um, since before the 1950s and through the 90s, um, throughout both Korean and Vietnam Wars, the U.S. Navy's uh, Naval Technical Training Center, Treasure Island, was operational. And that is, yeah where I went. That's what what I was there for. Um, multiple maintenance skills were part of the curriculum here, including training of electronic technicians in both communications and radar, as well as shiplifter, damage control technicians, nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare decontamination, decon techniques. Remember that. They train decon. Um, in 1972, a new U.S. Navy rate consisting of the old ship fitter and damage control technician ratings were created. The Navy, the new U.S. Navy rate was hull maintenance technician. The Navy later realized that damage control is such a large responsibility it needed a rating specifically tasked with those duties, hence the reemergence of the damage controlman rating in 1988. Um, 
Okay, yeah, the CO was recognized. Uh, the station was identified by the 1991 Base Realignment and Closure Commission, and Nav State Treasure Island closed in 1997. Remaining military structures included Building 600 at 750 Avenue M, Formal Naval Firefighting School. I saw some of that. Uh, Building 157 Naval Fire Station, I, I saw that. Um, uh, circa 1942 wood frame building which lacks modern earthquake seismic retrofit at 849 Avenue D SFFD station I saw that uh, 20 it closed March 7 24 due to health hazards and excessive deferred maintenance and the 20,000 square foot building 180 by US Naval Station Way and California Avenue now a winery um, the Treasure Island radar bomb scoring site call sign San Francisco bomb plot was a strategic air command automatic tracking radar facility established on the island. Major Posey was the 1948 commander of Detachment B. Uh, then it goes film stages and settings, um, remediation and redevelopment. Cleanup crews spent several weeks cleaning the island's coast from the 2007 Costco Busan oil spill just a few hundred yards from Treasure Island and the Navy sold the island to the city for 108 million as part of a redevelopment project. They made quite a profit, didn't they? Um, the federal government still maintains an active presence on 40 acres occupied by the United States Department of uh, Labor Job Corps. And that part is like you can't, it's kind of cordoned off, like it says warning, don't go beyond here. But otherwise you're, you're free to roam around um, the job, job Corps moved in and took over 40 acres and 13 building facilities just after the Navy vacated the island. The administration building and Hall of Transportation were listed in the National Register of Historic Places, and so they have, they've been maintained. Um, there was a neighborhood development for 19,000 people that started in uh, 2011. Over the next 20 to 30 years by Wilson, Meany, Sullivan, blah, blah, blah. The 2012-2014 U.S. $1.5 billion Treasure Island Development Project up for 8,000 new residents, new commercial space, blah, 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 new fire station, three underwater utilities. By December 2010, Navy contractors had removed 16,000 cubic yards of contaminated dirt from the site, some with radiation levels 400 times the Environmental Protection Agency's human exposure limits. The contaminated dirt is to be replaced by dirt removed during construction of the fourth uh, Calder Court Tunnel Bore. In April 2013, Casem 137, 137 levels, three times higher than previously recorded, were found. The island hosted radioactive ships from Bikini Atoll atomic tests and was a major education center training personnel for nuclear war. The USS Pandemonium, that was, that was its job. Mock-up had been, begun nuclear training in 1957. So, from what I understand, um, I didn't know any of that when I was there. I hadn't heard any of that, but, but there's, you know, recent um, articles written about this radioactive uh, soil and in the water and you know all sort of around that base um, so so yeah it's you know I I've read about all that radioactive contamination and I did drive around and I ended up driving and you'll see these areas that are fenced off with fencing that you can see through and you see buildings through them. Those are radioactive. But I'm going to show some pictures of what's left of Treasure Island now.
So um, it's in a lot of, uh, there's just a lot of rubble. And um, I do have a picture of the admin building that I took while I was there. Let me see if I can go find it. So there it is, Treasure Island. Um, it shows in my the videos that I took, um, the fenced off areas where they're supposedly trying got to clean up this radioactive. And there is housing there already, and I think there's a school, and I saw people riding bikes and walking. Um, it looked like they were using some of the old Navy barracks or Navy housing, um, and that they maybe built some new down at the far end, actually where I think most of the radio contam radioactive contamination exists. Um, and they have fenced off what used to be Navy housing or Navy barracks down at that end, and supposedly because it's, it's you know, tested radioactive. And a lot of the buildings aren't being used in this path where I drove through. Um, people walk through there, but evidently those buildings have tested uh, for some kind of harmful, hazardous, uh, radioactive uh, stuff going on. But so it was, uh, it was sad for me. Um, you know, it really was. It was sad for me to experience all that, um, to see it just totally ripped up. Like I, I would like one time to go back to an, a Navy base where I was stationed or a place where I'd been and it's still there, you know? But my, the, the base in Germany is gone. The base in the Azores is gone. Philadelphia is gone. This one's gone. I think, I don't know about New Orleans. Um, that was probably gone. I haven't checked on that, but, um, you know, the USS Wisconsin is now decommission it's a museum and i think we were on it for um i was on it while i was stationed in northwest virginia which that is also gone and we went to a reenlistment ceremony on board the uss wisconsin while it was um in port and soon after that it was it was decommissioned it's the it was the last wood deck i believe um ship but Anyway, so I'm going to close out with a few pictures, just a couple pictures of me and my reserve gang um, when we were down at uh, Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, 